Hi everyone, I've teamed up with Sam from Bristol Fish Limited and we're here to show you everything you need to know about preparing seafood. Welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at a gurnard, something you're probably not too familiar with as they're not found in many seafood markets. So today we're going to fillet a gurnard. Um, you don't fillet a gurnard like a normal fish because of the bone structure in it, but we're also going to skin a gurnard, which uh, is quite a nice way of displaying a gurnard on a plate for a dinner party or a restaurant. To begin with, we'll fillet one. We're gonna block fillet this, so we're gonna take all the bones out with it when filleting it and cut the bones out afterwards, unlike what we did with a sea bass and a sea room. So similarly, cut behind the gill plate, start from the tail upwards, all the way through, and bring a knife through. Release at the tail, and just cut out the top. Right, now we're gonna cut the bones out so we've block, block filleted it, so it still has all the ribs in and all the pin bones. We're gonna cut the ribs out, just like that. And then we're gonna V-pin the pin bones out. They've got quite large pin bones, so we just cut up behind them, similarly like a mackerel, but all the way through, and cut it out. So that is a boneless fillet of gurnard. Et voila. Same on the other side. Cut all the way through and just take the entire fillet off, like so. Again, we're gonna just take the ribs out, cutting through them, you can hear them click through, and take the pin bones out. There you have two beautiful fillets of gurnard. A great way of cooking gurnard is to have it with curried mussels. The sweetness of the shellfish and the meatiness of the fish really complements each other. It's a cross between a sea bass and a monkfish in terms of taste and texture. It's sweet and meaty, and it's quite a firm fish. It's what the French use in their classic boulevets. So if you are at your fishmongers and you want to make a stock or a soup, retain the frame, because you'll make a fantastic stock from it. So with this gurnard, we are going to skin it. It's a great way of utilizing smaller fish. As you saw from filleting a gurnard, the fillets you get from it aren't that large, so you'd have to use more than one fish perhaps for one person. In this instance, we are going to skin it, and it just makes it out to be that much more of a portion. You have to be really careful to do this, because most of the time you're cutting towards yourself. Get your extremely sharp knife, and cut up the spine of the gurnard. It's quite firm, because the spines are attached, obviously, to the backbone. Do it in little sections, and cut through. When you reach the head, tilt it forwards. Get yourself a knife that doesn't bend, like a chef knife, and just cut through the spine, like so. We're gonna just flip it over and release the skin between the vent and the tail, either side, just, you said, just like that. Now, what we're gonna do is attempt, at least, to skin it whole. So we're going to pop it over like that. It looks a bit funky right now. With the tip of the chef knife, just hold the spine to the table and pull the head, releasing all the skin. Take out the guts. And there you have a whole skinned gurnard. So that you can roast whole and it's just a, it just looks a little bit more of a portion. 